Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here in my little test area, and so what I want to try is the um, my new DIY uh, infrared filters on the Mavic Pro. So I've got them set up on there. I had to install them after the gimbal setup. I'm still running into some problems with uh, with the the gimbal check, so I put them on afterwards. It seems to be fine. Got screen recording, hopefully on the iPhone, hopefully this will work. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this up, and we're going to shoot some both video as well as stills and see how this works out. So I'm going to go ahead, I've already checked hover, and uh, I'm clear to fly. I've got great weather out here for this project. And so I'm going to do tab to focus. So it's auto focusing. And let's. Uh, I want to take it up a little bit. I want, to, I want to take it over the spillway. And we're definitely getting some, some interesting colors. Of everything I think as you can see so I got the camera recording as well as screen recording going and uh, so I'm over the spillway I'm gonna kind of just take it down the spillway a little bit capturing some video as I go down the spillway and uh, so it appears on the phone that I'm getting a bit of the woods effect, you know, where uh, greenery seems to be white or a whitish color. Because you can kind of see the grass, which is really green, and that's kind of a brownish white. Uh, I might have to do some post-processing. And uh, I'm going to turn around, turn this back around, just kind of pan. You can kind of see the interesting colors we're getting. And we see this, and I'm going to just now uh, take it back up. Uh, but I'm gonna want to pull it off more so to the center so I don't run into anything. And um, this is some trees. I'm not up very high. And uh, just kind of bringing it back up. And just hanging out over the top of the river. So that is really. Uh, some interesting scenery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to switch to to camera mode and so I want to make sure I'm switching to camera mode. I want to change this it's kind of hard to tell on iOS which one I'm in. I think this is camera so I want to now uh, actually go into manual so I've gone to manual settings and I'm at about uh, 2.5 seconds I want to lower the, the settings so I'm at one second so I just snapped a picture at one second and I'm going to snap a second picture at one second because I'm kind of auto focusing on the trees. Let's get that. And, uh, okay, it must not have been taking one before because it's uh, flashing the screen now. And so um, it's, it's a little bit hot in the center, uh, which I find interesting. And so I want to go and adjust this. So uh, as I go up, because I'm only at ISO 100, and I go I'm now at 1.3 seconds, so I'm getting some. I'm getting some. I think internal reflection. If I go too high, um, you, you see this on the screen. Hopefully, I got this on the screen. This really looks hot in the center of the image, and so I'm gonna try to move out of the wind here a little bit. So this kind of looks like it's hot, uh, a little bit hot. So I want to move back, and then if I pull it down to again one second, you can kind of see on the screen it's not, uh, you know, or focused at the center there. So still very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and hit another one, 
and uh, or it might be just uh, what I want to do is I want to actually go over here I want to put on turn on the histogram so I can kind of show you guys so so I've got the histogram on so lo look at that you can tell one of the things that I was uh, talking about is about narrowing that band of, of visible light and you can see how much that band of visible light has been narrowed by the spike in the histogram so it, this is a very tight um, band of light we're talking about yeah I bumped the uh, the uh, cable there we go went back on so so this is a very tight band of light which we're talking about and so as a boat going by and you can kind of see the blueness of the water which is really representative of the the colors of light which um, are being reflected and as I'm panning up uh, the one thing though I'm having a real hard time under you know making sure that this is in focus because a lot of times the camera will have trouble focusing on such a narrow band because that's that's not what its intended use was to focus on that real narrow band so I'm focusing outside the center of the frame a little colder spots and then let's do some do some images but this is taking about a one second image folks so this is a really bright sunny day and that's how much light is being you know knocked off here now when I switch back to um, video mode no, notice how you know look how dark it, it gets and then look at uh, again the spike and you know it just really jumps up there and uh, so I want to go back. Um, I want to go back to camera. My finger's not making it up there. And uh, well, I think I need to change this back around. Uh, why isn't it not letting me go back to automatic? So it's in video mode, but look how dark it is here. I need to um, adjust the settings. All right, so stop this. Hopefully it takes that back. It's not letting me go back to video settings. Maybe I need to turn off histograms. Yeah, there we go. Now I can go back to auto. And then, yeah, now I'm back to shooting uh, video. So... Uh, again, I'm interested to see. I want to capture some video here to do some experimentation with as far as um, flipping the color channels and things like that. Because you can really do some crazy stuff. Uh, I've got a couple um, specialty video applications for flipping colors, flipping color channels. Because what you do is you have, um, you know, maybe in the simplest terms, you have a red, you have a light channel, a luminosity channel, which is L. You have a red channel, you have a green channel, and you have a blue channel. And I'm now getting a little battery warning, so I need to bring this guy, start bringing him back home. And I need to bring him back home. And I'm trying to figure out which side of the river I'm on. Uh, oh, there we are. There we are. All right, we're coming back this way. There we are. You get to see me in infrared. That's actually probably a pretty good test. So I've got blue jeans and a black t-shirt on. So I'm not sure what color that's coming out as. So, uh, hi folks. So this is me in infrared. Or near infrared. So uh, let's go ahead and bring this guy back around. And let's bring him back down and land him on the pad. Whoop. I'm having to fly this backwards. 
All right. Want to get it over the landing pad? Look, gusts of wind are giving me a little bit of headache. Yeah, ended up cutting a little grass at the end. It blew over a little bit. We'll save off the video here. And uh, so anyways, another great flight of the Mavic. Good test of the uh, new infrared filters. Good experimentation. I'm going to try some different filters. Let me know what you guys think about testing different filters on this. Also, check the comments below. I'll add some stuff in the comments below what I find in the post-processing of this that didn't make it into this video. Uh, so check out below. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we go fly something, build something, or do something cool again with drones. Cheers.